Hello, welcome. In this short video, we will look at an example illustrating how a non-uniform magnetic field influences the wire suspended in this field. Consider the following scenario. So, a current of 5 amperes flows in the wire and the wire is 2 meters long. The distance from the Z axis to the wire is 4 centimeters. Given the length of the wire, L is equal to 2 meters, the magnetic field vector B bar is given by R cap 0 0.2 cos phi. That is, the strength of the magnetic field changes with the angle phi. And the unit is, of course, Tesla. The vector corresponding to the length of the wire is equal to Z cap 2 because the length of the wire is 2 meters and the wire is parallel to the Z axis. The current is, of course, given as 5 amperes. Now, the goal is to find expression for the force and also find out for what angles. The second goal is to find for which angles of phi it is what values of phi the force reaches its the force reaches its extreme values so the first part is the vector the expression for the force vector which is given by i into that is current the length vector l bar cross product with the magnetic field b bar this is the formula for a wire suspended in a magnetic field. So, since the current is 5 amperes and L bar is Z cap 2 cross product with R cap 0 0.2 cos phi. And since the cross product of Z cap with R cap is clearly phi cap because this is Z cap, this is R cap, the cross product should be phi cap. That is the uh, unit vector that continuously changes along the tangent. So, this is phi cap in phi times 2 times 0 0.2 which is equal to 2 cos phi. So, the force vector is given by phi cap into 2 cos phi newtons. Now, the minima that is the magnitude of the force vector is equal to 0 only when the, that is cos phi is equal to 0 that happens when phi is equal to phi by 2 that is at an angle phi equal to phi by 2 the force is clearly equal to 0 and then maxima that is the force reaches its maximum value at cos phi equal to its maximum value which is equal to 1 therefore phi should be equal to 0 therefore at phi equal to 0 the force will be reaching its maximum value which is clearly equal to f bar equal to phi cap 2 because cos phi is equal to 1. Thus, when a wire is suspended in a non-uniform magnetic field, the force on the wire changes with the direction phi. Thanks for watching.